Two years has gone by, and where are we? To be frank, we're knee-deep in bullshit is where we are. Everyone who held a key position in the military still has that position or has been promoted. John Kirby still sits on his perch, which apparently faces the opposite direction from where all the action was. Lincoln continues to delay key evidence by ignoring delay or delaying subpoenas. Not a single general slapped down their stars, which should have happened two years ago when Biden ignored his reliable intelligence. Not a single person has been held accountable. Our so-called leader can't seem to even utter their names in public, not even once. Mr. Biden has run his entire political campaign for 50 years as the family man. Well, I've got news for you, sir. The curtain has been lifting, and that campaign slogan will never work again. We have seen what's going on in your family, and even worse, we've seen how you've been treating us as Gold Star families. And there couldn't be anything more disgusting and cowardly than the way you have treated us. You are a disgrace to this nation. You have no business having ultimate command over our military. And I regret not saying that to your face when I had the opportunity in Dover. I felt it more, like, more important to bite my tongue. But I also had more important things on my mind at that time, like receiving my son's lifeless body stateside. While well, I stood there on the tarmac watching you check your watch over and over again. All I wanted to do was shout out, it's 2.30. But out of respect to the other grieving families, I bit my tongue once again. Well, as you could probably tell by now, I'm done biting my tongue. You, sir, stole their lives, their futures, their dreams, and have ripped apart 13 families you cannot even man up and admit that. You, sir, gave us all the title Gold Star Family. You, sir, discredit honor.